Hey guys, and welcome back to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. My name is Rogue Potatoes, and today we are going to be going over my Assault Class loadout. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking this for months and months, possibly years, um, and I've said it from here and there over the stream, you know, if somebody asked a question, I would answer. Um, but today, I want to run through my official loadout, what I've been using this whole time, and another star card that I would recommend uh, trying out at least once or twice. It makes a slight different uh, difference, but I would highly recommend it. Uh, so we'll get right into this. Um, start up the game capture. So, for the three cards that I use currently, um, remember, this is just my personal loadout. This is not what you, I'm telling you you should use. This is what I personally use and it fits my type of playstyle. Now remember, my playstyle is extremely aggressive. So that's why I built this loadout to fit my playstyle. And that's what you need to find for yourself, is you need to find a, a loadout that would match your type of playstyle. If you're more a defensive player, then this loadout might not work for you. It might not work as well as something else might would. So I would definitely like recommend you just try out the cards, try out different stuff until you come out with something you like. Don't let somebody else force you into using a loadout that might not fit your playstyle. So let's get into it. The first card that I use is the Assault Training card. Now what this does is it gives you 40 HP when it's maxed out on elimination. For me, because like I said, I'm an aggressive player. If I wanna get kills, I need help to do it. So I figured, okay, 40 HP after every kill, it's a win-win for me. I get more kills, I get more health, I can keep getting more kills. My second card that I would get, normally, this, I never use a smart ion grenade, I was using that uh, for a test. Uh, the second card is the survivalist card. Now this one I've been interchanging with bodyguard, but we'll talk about that later. Um, the survivalist card allows you to regen your health 40% quicker, or regen delay reduction 40%. Um, so as you're running, you know, you get shot up down to 10 HP, you wait behind the corner, instead of you having to wait 10 seconds, you're only waiting six seconds instead. I'm not exactly sure what the numbers are, but for example, that's what it is. Um, I've always used this card, it is very, very useful. Um, like I said, for me, getting back into the, to the action, that's exactly what I want. The quicker I can get my health back, the better. Um, and so, like I said, these first two cards, the boost cards, have been, if you notice, health cards. They haven't been marksmen or brawler or other things. And then the final card is, you probably guessed it, another health card. Um, so this, for those who played Battlefront 1, it's like the Adrenaline Sim in Battlefront. You press it and it gives you health. It tries to regen your health as long as you're not getting shot at. If you get shot at, then it stops and then it goes back up again. It's extremely, extremely powerful in the right hands. So I would highly recommend the Toughen Up ability for any loadout. For any loadout in general, this ability alone is insanely good. So those are the three cards that I use. One card that I was telling you about earlier, if you swap over here from the Survivalist, the Bodyguard card, which, which was recently changed um, to affect all health. So let's read it through. It says, take reduced damage when at critical health. So when you're at, I believe, it's around 50 or 40 HP, depending on your class character, or it's 40%, the bottom 40% of your health, you instantly take 40% less damage per shot when you're underneath that threshold of 50 health. Um, so this is very good for surviving. So for example, you're running around getting all these skills, and then you're down to 40 HP. You'll get that boost of 45% damage reduction. Uh, you won't like notice a kick in but you might feel it that you're not taking as much damage as you normally would so that's one good card that they just changed and i would highly recommend as well so the bodyguard and the survivalist are two cards that i would say can go hand in hand you could switch out each other with each other because for me i use survivalist because i would rather just be able to run back in back into the fight you know i can i know how to maneuver so that i don't take too much damage but if you know that you take a lot of damage, then Bodyguard might be the way to go. And also, don't forget, Bodyguard is actually on every single class now. So I would say try it out, see for yourself what, what I, if it works for you. Um, 
Now, a lot of you guys always ask, what Vanguard am I using? Um, so I actually use the original Vanguard. I don't use any star card variants. I'll have some video playing in the background of gameplay why. Um, so remember, there's a few variants. The Slug Vanguard. It's a fun weapon. I wouldn't use it to get, you know, kill streaks or anything because of its uh, accuracy and everything. It's got a very small reticle. I can't hit my shots like that. <laughs> um, you got the Kill Streak Vanguard, which sounds very good at first, but we'll get back to that. And then the Recharge Vanguard, which I have tried to use in the past, but it, it just doesn't seem like it's worth taking a slot for. So it's 18 second recharge time. When you kill a person, you get your other star cards back, not the Vanguard, the other star cards back, which I could see being good, you know, a ton of grenade spam. Sure, that's fine. Um, but for me, it just didn't work. So the only reason why I didn't choose the Killstreak Vanguard over the original one is, remember, this is after every kill, it gives you 55% back. If you have it maxed out, 55% back on your timer, the timer that they give you. Um, but the only thing is, the timer is actually reduced compared to the regular uh, Vanguard, which not a lot of people know. So while the regular Vanguard can pull off 10 shots, the Killstreak Vanguard can only pull off 7. And so, unless if you're getting a lot, and I mean a lot of kills with the Killstreak Vanguard, it's not even going to make it worth using it. So you can't even use it to run as far, you know, for those players that run at the beginning of the match just to go far. It won't even matter because you won't you, you won't be able to get as far as a regular Vanguard. So that's why I use the original Vanguard over any other Vanguard that they've put out. Now for the last part is my blaster choices. Now, the Assault class, they have very, very good blasters, so I won't deny that. If we look over here, we have the A280, the CR2, and the EL16HFE, or as I like to call it, the El Jefe. Uh, these are the three weapons that I use the most. Um, well, I haven't used, I use the E11D from time to time. I just, it doesn't compete for me compared to these weapons. I feel like these weapons are just better in all other categories. My personal favorite all around weapon in this entire game is the A280. But we'll come back to that. So these three weapons specifically are extremely good. The CR2, probably the best in class for close range uh, weapons that I think it's up there with the SC44C for the fastest time to kill in the entire game. It's got the fastest rate of fire. It's insanely good. Any close quarter maps, use this gun. The El Jefe. This gun is insane. It can out snipe snipers and it's on the assault class. So if you know how to play it well, you just have to crouch, you just take your time with your shots. It's extremely, extremely good. Long range, even sometimes medium range, El Jefe. It's a great weapon. The A280. The A280, two bursts to kill, it's good for every single range. Close range, you can kill people in close range. Mid range, kill people mid range. If you play it smart, you aim, uh, you aim low, you aim for the head, hit your shots. <laughs> it, it takes a little practice to learn how to use the A280, but you can even use it at the same range that I use the El Jefe. I use the A280 for almost every single range, and that's why I use it over the other guns. Unless if I'm playing a map on like, for example, Death Star 2 or Rebel Base, sometimes I'll even swap it out for the CR2. But for like 75 to 85 percent of situations the a280 is going to be the best weapon all around and since you have the vanguard as your secondary you don't really need the cr2 as much like i said the cr2 is a great weapon it's one of my favorites but you know if you have something close quarters such as the vanguard that can one tap people i would like to have some extra range so that's why i mainly use the a280 as my primary weapon so now that's that's pretty much it you guys have been asking so there you go I'm glad that I could give you my guide for what I use personally for the Excel class and now you know why if you have any questions or loadouts that you would recommend feel free to recommend them to others in the chat um, in the comment section below if you guys enjoy feel free to like the video I can go through other classes if you guys would like as well the heavy salt specialist but it's totally up to you guys if you enjoy the video let me know if you'd like to see more of these um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll uh, see you on the next one.